I was born about two miles from Old Fort on the old Morganton Road. I sure has had a hard life. Just work and work and work. I, I'd never know nothing but work. My boss, he was the old man in the hemp hill. He had a large plantation in the valley. Plenty of everything. All kind of stock. Hogs, cows, mules, and horses. When Ma Sandy died, I'd go live with his son, William Hempel. I never forget when Ma Sandy died. He was a good old man, and to Missy, she was good, too. She used to read the Bible to us children before she passed away. My pappy, he lived with Joe Gudger. He old and feeble, I remembers. <laughs> he penned on my pappy to see after everything for him. He always trusts my pappy. One morning, he followed pappy to the field. Pappy, he stopped his work, and old Marshal Joe, he say, well, smart? Pappy, he named Smart. I was tired, worried, and trouble. All these years I work for my children. They never do the right thing. The words, Miss Smart. I tell you, Smart, I was a good mind to put myself away. I was a good mind to dry myself right here. I was terrible words, Smart. Pappy, he'd take hold of old Marsh Joe and lead him to the house. Now, Marsh Joe, I wouldn't talk such talk if I was you. You've been good to your family. Just you content yourself and rest. But a few days after that, old Moss Joe was found a hanging in the barn by the bridle. Old Moss had put herself away. No, I never know what it was to rest. I just work all the time from morning to late at night. I had to do everything they wanted to do on the outside. Work in the field, chop wood, hoe corn. Till sometimes I feel like my back surely break. I done everything except split rails. You know they split rails back in them days. Well, I never did split no rails. Old Moss drop us good if and we did anything he didn't like. Sometime he get his dander up and then we dance and look round at him. Else he tie your hands for your body and whip you just like you a mule. Lord, honey, I stuck a thousand lashings in my day. Sometimes my poor old body be so for a week. Oh, boss, he send us niggas out to any kind of weather. Rain or snow, it never matter. We had to go to the mountains, cut wood, and drag it down to the house. Many the time we come in with our clothes stuck to our poor old cold bodies, but twa'n't no use to try to get them dry. If the old boss or the old missy see us, they yell, get on out of here, yo black thing, and, and get your work out in the way. And lordy, honey, we know to get, else we get the lash. They didn't care how old or how young you was, you never too big to get the lash. The rich white folk never did no work. They had darkies to do it for them. In the summer, we had to work outdoors in the winter in the house. I had a card and spin till 10 o'clock. Never get much rest. And to get up at 4 the next morning and start again. Didn't get much to eat, neither. Just a little cornbread and lasses. Lordy, honey. Y'all can't know what a time I had, all cold and hungry. No, I ain't telling no lies. It's the gospel truth. Show sure is. I remember well how I used to lie awake till all the folks were sleeping, then creep out in the door and walk barefoot in the snow about two miles to my old auntie's house. I knowed when I get done, she fix hot corn pone with slice of meat and some milk for me to eat. Aunt it was good to us darkest. I never sleep on a bedstead till after freedom. No, till after freedom. Just an old pile of rags in the corner. Hardly enough to keep us from freezing. Oh, Lord, child. Nobody knows how mean darkest was treated. Well, they was better to the animals than to us. And my first old boss was a good old man, but... The last and he was rabbit. He sure was rabbit. My child, 
Times ain't no more like they used to be than the day and night am like. In my day and time, all the folks worked. If they had no niggas, they worked themselves. If the children was too small to hold, they pulled weeds. Now the big bottom of the swan I know, that used to grow hundreds bushel of green in just a playground. I like to see the children in the field. Why now they fight you like wildcat if it ever been talked about. That's the reason time's so hard. No farming. Why, I can remember old Missy, she say, this generation will pass away and a new generation will come along. That's just it. Every generation gets weaker and weaker. Then they talk about going back to old times. That time done gone. They never meet that time again. One, none of the slaves off in our plantation ever sold. But the ones on the other plantation of Moss Williams was. Oh, that was a terrible time. All the slaves be in the field, plowing, hoeing, singing in the boiling sun. Oh, Moss, he come through the field with a man called the speculator. They walk around just looking, just looking. All the darkies know what this mean. They didn't dare look up, just walk right on. Then the speculator, he see who he want. He talked on Moss. Then he slaps the handcuffs on him, tack him away to the cotton country. Oh, them was awful times. When the speculator was ready to go with the slaves, if and there was any who didn't want to go, he thrashed them, then tie him hide the wagon and make them run till they fall on the ground. Then he thrashed them till they say they go without no trouble. Sometimes some of them run away and come back to the plantation. Then it was harder on them than before. When the darkies went to dinner, the old nigger mama, she say, Why am such and such? None of the others want to tell her. But when she see them look down to the ground, she just say, The speculator. The speculator. Then the tears roll down her cheeks. Because maybe her son or husband, and she know she never see him again. Maybe they leaves babies to home. Maybe just Pappy and Mammy. Oh, my Lordy. My old boss was mean, but he never sent us to the cotton country. There was very few schools back in the day and time, very few. We darkies didn't dare look at no book, not even to pick it up. Old Missy, that is my first old Missy, she was a good old woman. She read to the niggas and to the white children. She come from across the water. She wasn't like the smart white folks living here now. When she come over here, she brung darky boy with her. He was her personal servant. Because they got different names for him now, but in that day, they calls him... Guinea niggas. <laughs> she was a good old woman, not like other white folks. Niggas like old Missy. When the darkies get sick, they was put in a little old house close to the big house, and one of the other darkies waited on them. There was very few doctors then, only three in the whole section. When they wanted medicine, they went to the woods and gathered whorehounds, slippery elm for pulses, and all kind of bark for teas. All these jobs bring you round. There was very few lawyers then, too. But laws of me, you can't turn around for them now. <laughs> I remember when my old mammy died. She lived on Rims Creek with the other Hempels. She sick a long time. One day, white man come to see me. He say, Sarah, do you know your mammy was dead? No, I say. But I want to see my mother before they put her away. I went to the house and say to old Missy, my mother, she died a day. I, I want to see my mother before they put her away. But she look at me mean and say, get on out of here and get back to your work for I wallop you good. 
So I went back to my work with the tears streaming down my face, just a ring in my hands. I wanted to see my mammy so. About two weeks later, old Missy, she get terrible sick. She just linger long for a long time, but she never gets up no more. Wasn't long for they puts her away too, just like my mammy. I remember the time when my mama was alive. I was a small child before they took the rims crick. All us children was playing in the yard one night, just running and playing like children will. All of a sudden, mama come to the door all excited. Come in here this minute, she say. Just look up at what's happening. And bless your life, honey. The stars was falling just like rain. Mammy was terrible scared, but we children wasn't afeard. No, we wasn't afeared. But Mammy, she say, every time a star falls, somebody gonna die. Look like a lot of folks gonna die from the looks of them stars. Everything was just as bright as day. You could have picked a pin up. You know the stars don't shine as bright as they did back then. I wonder why they don't. They just don't shine as bright. Wasn't long before they took my mammy away. I was left alone. On the plantation was an old woman what the boss bought from a drover up in Virginia. The boss, he bought her from one of the speculators. She laughed and tell us, So, but these days y'all going to be free, just like the white folks. But we all laugh at her. No, we just slaves. We all us have to work and never be free. Then when freedom come, she say, I told y'all, now you got no learning, you got no nothing, got no home. What you going to do? Didn't I tell you? <laughs> I was getting along smartly in years when the war come. I remember like, just like yesterday, just before the war, Miles William was a talking to his brother. I was standing off a piece. Ma's brother, he say, William, how old I say now? Ma's William look at me and he say, she getting nigh on the 50. That was just a little while for the war. That was awful time. Us doctors didn't know what it was all about. Only one of the boys from the plantation go. He Alexander. He about 25 then. Many of the time we get word the Yank is coming. We take our food and stock and hide it till we show they's gone. We wasn't bothered much. One day, i never forget it, we look out and see soldiers marching. Look like the whole valley full of them. <laughs> I thought, poor helpless critters just going away to get killed. The drums was beating and the fives are playing. There was the foot company. Oh, glory. It was a sight. Sometime they come home on furlough. Sometime they get killed before they get through. Alexander, he come home a few times for freedom. When the war was over, Moss William, he say, Do y'all know y'all's free? You free now. I chuckle. Remembering what a woman tell us about freedom and no learning. A lot of men want me to go to foreign land, but I tell them I go live with my pappy long as he live. I stay with the white folks about 12 months, then I stay with my pappy long as he live. I had two brothers. They went to California. Never see them no more. No, my sister, another. I can't remember such a lot about it all. I just knows I was born and bred here in these parts. Never been out in it. I well. Never take no doctor medicine. Just been sick once. That after freedom. <laughs>